No, 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 no. Definitely, I was very specific about this. The mayor's plaque goes on the piano. The Otis Clendenning Man of the Year Award goes right over here. And my jewel, my CB, goes right here where she can't miss it. Hmm, that seems a bit subtle. Why don't I just use this to serve the olives? Don't give me that! I wish someone would just tell me who this woman is and why we're trying to impress the pants off her. Diane! Hello, Fraser. Please, do you remember my brother Niles, my father Martin? And um, this is his healthcare worker, Daphne Moon. Hello, oh, nice Diane. to see, see you, you all. Niles! <laughs> Do you remember the last time I was in town when we dined together? You had just started dating this woman. She was the queerest little creature. Thank you. <laughs> she ate every one sorbet, and then she had to lie down in the ladies' lounge while the coat check girl massaged her abdomen. <laughs> I'm an artist. We live by different rules. <laughs> an argument can certainly be made that a lie is good when it spares someone unnecessary pain. I'm reminded of Merit's brief flirtation with activewear when I assured her, you look fine, darling. Spandex is supposed to blouse. <laughs> well, you know, Lilith actually told me the other day that uh, Frederick has taken to lying. Huh? Yes, he told all of his friends that Lilith is an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Seems as good an explanation as any. <laughs> Yes, he also told him that she wears her hair in a bun to hide the third eye in the back of her head. How did Lilith find out? Well, apparently she was driving him and two of his little friends over to uh, a junior Mensa meeting. She looked in the rearview mirror and saw that they were making faces at the other cars. So never have the words, I can see you, caused so much screaming and wetting of pants. <laughs> I'd, I'd like, like to, to thank, thank Fraser Crane for his friendship. Excuse me, Mayor Rice? Uh, yes? I have a small bone to pick with you. I can't say I care for the way your city treats us poor aliens. Uh, you're an alien? Yes, Daphne Moon. You see, my friend Zena and I, she's an alien too. We're trying to get down to Mazitland to rendezvous with her mother's ship. Her, her, her mother's ship? Yes, and from what I hear, it's quite spectacular. I'm and... sure it is. Uh, why don't you go with these two gentlemen? I'm sure they can take care of you. Well, Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Do you two work for the mayor? Well, I suppose I should know that already, you see. I'm a bit psychic. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, stop, no, stop, no. Oh, I can't go on any longer. My feet are killing me. We lost them. Most of them dropped out after the first corner. But that short one with the pigtails was a regular gazelle. Yes. Look. It's even farther away than it was before.